Welcome to a place of hope. Welcome to a place that inspires imagination. Welcome to a place that nurtures creativity. And welcome to a place where ideas matter. Welcome to Rhodes University. Hi there, I'm Abner Ackham, Rhodes University student, and I'm here to tell you guys what Orientation Week is all about. Let's check it out. So I'm here with Mama, Mama, and Nande, and their cousin. Um, Mama, what I'd like to know from you is, um, how do you feel about your babies leaving the nest for the first time? I feel so sad for the, because they will leave me alone at home and it was nice to be with them. But at the same time, I'm very happy, I'm very grateful. What are your hopes and expectations for the year? Uh, my hopes and expectations are to pass every module with distinctions, of course, and I hope to socialize with everyone. Nande, how do you feel about leaving home for the first time and coming to Rhodes University? Um, I'm very excited about leaving home because it's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to experience freedom, be alone, and I know that I'm responsible for it. We know how daunting the orientation period can be. That's why our university experience begins smoothly at registration. Thanks to our committed staff that's available to guide and support them with any information, students can rely on our structures to help them acclimate to university life moving forward. The orientation period is where the students meet some of their new peers and future colleagues. The program is tailored to introduce them to the array of support services and opportunities that Rhodes University has to offer for their personal development. So I'm outside Founders Wall at the moment and I'm sitting here with Nkiro, Gift and Rain and they're going to tell me a bit about how their experience was getting welcomed into race today. Uh, I was a bit nervous but then the guys, the sub uh, they welcomed me very warm, with very warm hands. Um, yeah, I was with my parents when I came in so they also helped with the police and I was also helped with my room so I think everything will be fine. Okay. Oh, what I have to say, uh, all the way back from home, like I was a bit of worried how are they gonna treat me there? But when I came, well, I actually felt like a member of a family and I'm still expecting more. Yeah, I was really worried because I came here alone, not knowing everyone, but then the sub warnings welcomed me so well. So I just feel like I'm home. So today we are at the monument and we're here for the Dean's Faculty Talk to the first years. Let's go inside to see who we can catch up with. Not only did the Dean share insightful information with the first years, the professional services under the Student Affairs Department held exhibitions to raise awareness about what they have to offer the students. I 
I'm sitting here with Professor Wilmot and she just gave a very insightful speech to the first years who are studying education this year. Um, Professor Wilmot, what I'd like to know from you is what kind of advice would you give to first year students um, currently feeling overwhelmed and anxious about what they want to study at Rhodes? I think what I would suggest is that they ask questions and they don't be shy to ask. What are the benefits of doing a degree at Rhodes University? It's a small university, I think you get incredible attention, people know you by name, it's a residential university so you're on campus and I think those are huge advantages. Jamie was great. Yo, awesome. Lit amazing. The Being Well and Aware programs are facilitated discussions on issues of consent, security, transformation and overall well-being. This creates awareness on where to go for health and safety concerns, student rights and responsibilities and socialising in and around the university campus. I just attended a talk on consent. Um, consent is ver very important in society because you can't just go around and infringe on people's rights. Um, you've got to always ask and be sure what you're doing is not making the other person feel uncomfortable. I just attended the Rhodes Consent Talk. Um, what I've learned is that there's like way more to consent than what we actually know and it's, it's very easy to just um, blur the lines. So I think what I've learned from it is just ask for consent at every stage. So yeah, it was very beneficial and I'm sure everyone learned a lot. For the first time this year, the Orientation Week includes a basic self-defense training for first years to equip them to defend themselves in potentially dangerous situations they may encounter. I think self-defense is important because nowadays obviously we understand that women and children are in danger but also men are in danger. Um, I think it's important to know how to protect yourself in any situation, especially like not with anything else, just your body. No matter where you are, really, you should be able to like know how to like keep yourself safe. I just want an education. Oh. Oh. Degree? As part of the Orientation Week program, the Rhodes Drama Department have come up with a play called OTI, The Purple Shall Govern, which is about what the first years could expect during their time here at Rhodes. Hey guys. I'm sitting here with um, Lerato, Koki and Yolanda and they are first year students and they are going to tell me what their favourite scene was from today's production from the drama students and how that specific scene helped them as first year students. The scene where the males have a differently, like a completely different conversation from the females. So for males it's about bagging virgins and you know, having fun basically, but for females it's how to protect themselves, how to like be aware of the surroundings, just always be vigilant and all of that. And I think as a first year, it, it just further emphasizes how the world we live in is. My favorite scene would be, would have to be the one where John's talking about their pronouns. As a non-binary person, it shows that this is something that I might have to face whenever I need to deal with paperwork and that I need to, that I need to be adamant when I say these are my pronouns. So my favorite scene is a scene where Nuku says she is a bit insecure about the way she looks and her body and it actually taught me to have self-confidence and self-love because at the end of the day we are all not perfect, we have our imperfections. I'm here with Josh, he's a prospective first year student, he wants to study journalism and media studies. Um, Josh, can you please tell me what panel discussion did you attend in there? Well, I attended the um, media studies and journalism mm. panel discussion. Yeah. And what did you find most interesting about the discussion? Well, it was very informative, you know, I came there quite ignorant, not necessarily knowing what it's all about. 
but once I got all that information, I felt a lot better and I'm leaving feeling, you know, like I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Thank you very much, man. There's no prize for guessing which institution leads and others follow. You know, it made it really nice. We had a really good house comm. Like, if it wasn't for our house comm, I think I'd hate it. Based on my experience with orientation week, it was really nice. I met a lot of people, made new friends, learned quite a lot. My experiences with first week were amazing. I actually managed to make more friends than I thought I would make. Um, I thought that coming to university would be like an individual place where everyone keeps to themselves, but once I got to Rhodes, it was actually the complete opposite. So yeah, that's, I give it a 10.